We are going to work on something called linear perspective today. Um, linear perspective is a mathematical system of drawing. It was invented in the Renaissance, so literally like almost 600 years ago, 500 years ago, 550, right in that range. Um, it was fairly early in the Renaissance that they figured out how to do this. Um, and it was a man named Brunelleschi. Um, and we're going to take a look here at, it's kind of uh, something, well, it's probably something you guys have seen maybe in elementary school. Um, it's typically what a lot of elementary school teachers teach. Um, for one point perspective, they'll teach how to draw a city from a bird's eye view, like if you were a bird flying overhead. So we're going to do some buildings where we're looking at the, the top of the buildings down to the ground um, and what it might look like from a bird's eye view. Um, so there's a couple of terms that you need to know. Um, and one of them is vanishing point because we're going to do one point perspective. There's only one vanishing point and all of the lines on these buildings will go to this vanishing point. Um, the vanishing point sits on, they refer to it often as the horizon line. I really don't like that terminology. I refer to it as the eye level line um, because technically that's really what it is. Um, and this will come into play more later. Uh, I'll explain a little bit more later. But the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to go directly down in the center and do the simplest kind of box uh, or building as the case may be. We're going to do a building that is uh, one inch wide. Um, and I'm not worried about it being perfect. But what you do or what you start with is you start by drawing the top of the building whatever shape it is. It could be a rectangle or a square or an L, but most buildings are based on kind of like Lego blocks, squares, rectangles, um, and you might put them together where you've got a wing here and a wing here, have an L shape or a T or something else, but we're going to start with the most basic, which is just a square. Now if I do this square, my vanishing point is sitting on this side of it, this is called the face. So this square here is called the face of the building because it's the side facing us. Um, so you have to think if this is where my van or my eye level and my eye is looking down on this building, what can I see of this building? I can see the top because the top is facing me right below me, but can I see the side of the building over here? No, it's farther away from me. I can't see the far side of the building. I can't see this side. I can't see this side because of where they're at. I can only see the side that's between me, my vanishing point, my eye line, and the face. And so the way that I draw that out is you line up the corner of your face with your vanishing point. If you can draw that line without passing through the center of the face or passing through the face, draw it. So these top two uh, corners of this square, we can draw from the corner to the vanishing point without passing through the face. However, if I try to draw a line from this bottom corner to the center or to the vanishing point, you can see it's going to go through the face of this building. You're going to end up with a line there. So we don't want to draw that. If it crosses through the face, we don't draw it. And then you have to determine now how tall is this building from the ground. And I'm just going to... I'm going to cut it off right here. So this gives me this side of the building. 
Now if I've got, say, a door down here, all I have to do is determine how wide I want this door. Maybe I want a double door. And then those three uh, points, you line up. you got to line up your ruler with the point. You have to line it up with the vanishing point. And then only draw within the building. You could do windows, doors, balconies, all kinds of things like that on this on this building here. The rest of the line we don't need. From the top down, it's the exact same thing. I would start simply by doing the um, face or the top of the building. It's always going to sit straight. In other words, it's, uh, it's not going to tilt. When I want to do one point perspective, I don't want my buildings to you know, tilt at weird angles because it's hard to draw and, and get the, the one point. Um, you can. I mean, you could put it straight here, but you have to make sure that the sides are equal and that they are parallel with one another. So if you end up drawing some sort of wonky shaped building, that is almost impossible, you know, to like put into uh, perspective. It just doesn't work as well. Um, you can do it, but it takes some thinking to figure out all your angles. So we're going to stay with just straight forward boxes um, today. So same thing. I'm going this time from the top down because that's where it goes to. My vanishing point is key. If I'm here, standing here, I cannot see the back side of this building. Please do not try to draw lines up there. It does not, that's not right. You've got to take your lines to your vanishing point, wherever that may be. And then you cut your building off. Now these lines that go from the corner to the vanishing point, they have a very special name. They are called orthogonals. So orthogonal lines. So that's the most basic when it's directly lined up. It would be the same if we put a building over here. It would be the same thing. We would just have two lines that would go to the vanishing point. Or if we had one that was directly across here, it would be two lines. But when we get off to one side, then we have a little bit different scenario. Um, I'm going to make a little bit thinner building and I'm going to put it over here on the side. So this is my face this time or the top of the building and it's a little bit longer and skinnier. Um, you know, maybe there's a road or something that comes along here. But now I have to think about if my vanishing point, if I'm standing right here looking down, bird's eye view, what part of this building can I see? I can't see this side of the building. It's too far away. It's away from or it's covered by the face. If I try to draw a line from this bottom corner, it's literally going to cut through the face. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go to the right bottom corner and take a look. And guess what? Now I can go directly through 
or directly from the corner to the vanishing point and I don't cross through the face. Next one, I don't cross through the face. Last corner in the box. All right, so now we have a new building. Here's the key to this. Um, to get the sides correct, you have to look at the face. So if I'm gonna draw this right wall, I start by looking at the right line on the face. I've got to draw a line that is parallel to it. So one of the big mistakes that uh, people new to linear perspective make is they draw their line like this. They, they tilt it. Don't let it tilt. If this front line is straight up and down, this back line must be straight up and down. Now I'm going to draw this side of the building. I want to do the same thing. I've got to look at this top line on the front face box and then my back line must be parallel to it. That's how I get my three sides of my building. And again I can erase the rest of the orthogonal. I don't need them once I've got my building established. And I can do another, um, I can do a doorway or I can do windows or whatever I feel like. Same way, I line it up. Everything lines up with a vanishing point. So you get your, your next doorway in. Let's do another one over in this corner. Let's do a little different shape. Let's do, uh, let's do an L. And I don't really care about the exactness of the size. Right now I'm just getting the, um, understanding of the shapes figured out and how to do perspective. So I have my L-shaped building. This back corner, all right, so this is my face. This back corner, if I look at it and line it up with my vanishing point, so I have my back corner and my vanishing point, if I draw that line, it's going to cut right through the center of my faceplate. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go from there. I'm going to go over here to the next corner, just following clockwise around. And I'm going to line up corner, vanishing point. That one I can do. Then I'm going to go clockwise to the next one. Corner, vanishing point. And now we have an interesting situation because we have an inside corner instead of an outside corner, but it's handled the same way. Inside corner to the vanishing point. Next one. Last one. And then cut it off. Wherever you decide, so if I'm looking at this line on my face plate and I want this building to be this deep, I start there. I establish this is parallel to this. Again, don't let it tilt. Typically what kids do is they'll let it tilt. Don't let it tilt. Then we have this line here. We want this line to be parallel. And notice that I hooked right to the corner of the line here. This line here on the face box, our next one needs to be parallel to it. 
And then we have our last line that coincides with this line on the face box. So we end up with that. And then, oh, let's say this is a whole bunch of windows. You guys have seen some of the windows in downtown Denver, some of the buildings that have the big Watch this step very carefully. Because it will help you figure out your windows. So you're going to create a city. You can layer some um, boxes in front if you want to. We're going to spend about half the class period doing this and then we're going to take a look at one point perspective from a different angle. So instead of a bird's eye view, um, we'll look at it uh, from a different angle and, uh, towards the end of class.